Hello and welcome to this session about how to create an advanced report for SAP Business One using Crystal Reports. My name is Darius Hedarian and I'm working for the Rollout Services Department. So what is the agenda for today? First, I want to show you how to use parameters in Crystal Reports. Next, how to filter using SQL statements. And last, how to add drill down capability. So what we will do next? We will um, go to the design mode because we want to focus here in this session on the group footer. So let's expand the section a little, maybe a little more. And let's start with adding a summary. So I will just use here the summary button, choose the field I want to summarize, which will be not the card name, it will be a document total. The method will be a just simple summary and we will not use it for the report footer, we will use it for the group footer. Okay, align it a little bit more on the right side. Um, now I would recommend to draw a line just below of it. Okay, and now we will add some of the new fields. So let's start with the street for example. Then we can use the um, city, then maybe the zip code, which we can shorten a little bit, this is a little bit too big. And as last field, the country, okay, come on. Okay, and now it's important uh, to add some uh, descriptions or labels in front. So um, I will use here this upper left icon. I will draw a little box. I will write street. And again for city. So I will forward now a little bit to save some time. Okay, so now I've entered the last text field country. Let's take a look. So we have the line, we have on top the total, which we may align on the left for a nicer view. And below the line, we have the street of the business partner, the city, the zip code, and the country. Uh, a little bit less space here, so I will just expand the end of the footer. So this looks better. Okay, so now um, I want to add a parameter, or let's say two parameters. I will explain you very soon why. So right click on parameter fields, new. Let's name it data range. Choose date as type and static because we want to enter the date by ourselves. We don't want to choose a date which is given from the database. So for example, in the last report we were not able to choose the 1st of January. We had to pick the 18th of January because there was no invoice before. So with static we can enter any value. Same we will do with uh, the postcode or zip code, which is also a type string, uh, because there are not only numbers in some countries, they also use letters, uh, also static. What I want also to do here in the date range, just go back and edit it, is to add here the range option, range setting, just switch it to true. Okay, so let's go to the filters. To select expert, you may remember in the last session we set the given date for the first quarter, 18th of January until the 28th of March. Uh, let's go to the formula editor to change this. We will now remove this and add instead the equal sign and we'll choose the data range. And we will also 
use the zip code key of the database CRD1 and this should match our postcode parameter which we'll enter later and something special here I will also add something again or something from the OCRD table it's called card type this ensures that we will just deal with customers so let's check no errors found and save and click on OK so if we enter now values let's say from last year until today we enter also a postcode 19083 for example and we have now a new filter a new result the street is there the city the zip matches the one we have entered and the country okay what we will do next is enter the drill down capability therefore we go to insert picture so now we need a picture for the arrow I have one ready here which I have cut out a screenshot of business one just add it here next to the invoice number now we do a right click and uh, select format graphics we will switch to the hyperlink tab select a website on the internet and go here to the formula editor okay now we need to enter a uh, formula for giving a dynamic link to each um, document number so if you go to the crystal reports um, channel partner portal landing page you can find this um, PDF which uh, uh, is called how to work with crystal reports in SAP business one and on page 26 you can find more details on how to add drill down capability and so on so here you can also see how it should look like so let's go back to crystal reports and start typing so first we will have a static part which is a link special for business one application it's important to write now key with low chars and now the static part ends so now we start with the dynamic part we're using here a wrapper to convert numbers to text format we will use the OIN retable and um, the document number and we will also will have zero decimal numbers at the end let's check if we have everything done correct okay no errors found okay all right so let's save this as a um, new report let's say advanced report save and let's uh, execute this now in business one okay so let's enter a date range let's say last year until today and let's enter postcode okay so now crystal reports opens we will zoom in by 100 percent and you can see the same report like in crystal reports now within SAP business one and the good thing is now we can just use here the drill down arrow and we'll directly jump into the, this invoice and this concludes the presentation